What's up, Rockstars? There is some massive news that's been years in the making for Kingdom Death Monsters that we're going to discuss right now. Thank you to my channel sponsor Into the AM. As a company that believes hard work and a great product is a proper way to conduct business, I am delighted to have them as part of the channel. They have some of the coolest graphic t-shirts around and an absolute best fit and feel that has continually exceeded my expectations. With new shirts arriving all the time and other products like boxers, hats, and even a monthly shirt club, I wholeheartedly recommend them to you. Check out the link in my description of this video for an exclusive 10% off everything they sell. Now you might recall my last video where I discussed how people were very, very upset with Adam Poots, were very upset with the Kingdom of the Monster, and just were generally very unhappy people. And they let themselves know that they were unhappy, or let everybody know that they were unhappy in the comments section of the Kickstarter campaign for Kingdom Death Monster. They've been waiting years for some actual board game content, and all they seem to get is a whole bunch of miniatures printed with little to no gameplay uh, that's at least play tested or really usable. So uh, that has been kind of an issue for a long time. There's been pencils down uh, for like, it seems like a year now. It's been quite a while. And uh, yeah, just no progress as far as anybody could tell, at least no product. And I report on that knowing that the Black Friday update is coming. They have an update pretty much every Black Friday, but it's normally just mostly about the sale. Today, I'm not even covering the sale. First of all, it's a little late. And second of all, because there was another update that I'm not sure any of us were really expecting, at least not truly. It's almost too hard to believe. The Gambler's Chest is printing. If you didn't know, the Gambler's Chest was a kind of a fun Kickstarter thing where they just kind of put these narrative sculpts in there. It was kind of some 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 minis that were just going to be kind of fun and some uh, small little rules to accompany them. It turned out to be essentially Kingdom Death Monster 2.0 in a way. It's uh, definitely his next iteration on the game system, much like how a lot of his competitors that uh, kind of have taken the uh, boss battler genre that that he's made and kind of iterated on Kingdom with Monster, like with Antrustus Odyssey, Oathsworn, stuff like that. Uh, he has done, of course, that as well. And it's actually come into production. I'm going to go ahead and run through the campaign now, uh, or the update now, just because I think it's super cool uh, to see kind of everything. First of all, it's on the 100th update. I don't know if they planned that on purpose or not, because their last update was kind of like, hey, we don't have any information. I suspect that's what it was. I suspect they just wanted it to be on the 100th. I think they probably could have done this a little early, but either way, uh, it's right there on the 100th update of Kingdom of Death Monster. And yeah, it's it's going to be big. So they talk about the statistics. And first of all, one thing that's, look at 10 years on Kickstarter. My goodness, it's been a decade, guys. One of the cool things here I thought was 335,728 campaigns played based on games sold because everybody who buys Kingdom Death Monster plays it. I love that sentence, but also it's cool to see the number. So 335,000 copies, almost 336,000 copies of Kingdom Death Monster have been sold. That's a lot. That's that's pretty darn good, I would say. Over 2 million, almost 3 million miniatures created. My goodness. Um, that's a lot. So they have some cool art. I'll go over some of this. Uh, this one confuses me with the ball here. Like I, I can see the tension of like holding it there, but it just seems very awkward, especially on a curved surface like that. I'm not sure how she's holding that together, but whatever. That's fine. Yes, the Gamble Chess is printing. Estimated delivery is Q2 or early Q3 of 2023. So in about half a year or maybe even a bit more is the estimated delivery. Now that is adding some padding for, you know, the Chinese New Year, free logistics, etc. cetera. Uh, I don't know what a bit of planning, they might need a little bit more than a bit. Uh, I would offer, I would want a big buffer, but I mean, those are general statements too. Q2, early Q3, that's, that's a range, right? So hopefully somewhere in there, that's cool. I did that. They show some token sheets. They look like tokens. I don't know. I can't get excited about tokens, really. I mean, that looks, um, the art's cool, of course, but it looks like tokens. So, yeah, there's that. The encounter board I actually really like. I love the zoom in showing the skeleton here. All these, that's fantastic. I really dig that. I like the shape of it. That looks super exciting. I'm, I'm excited for that. Razor sharp dice, I don't know yet. Um, I do like the look of the dice. Uh, the symbology on it is pretty heavy, and so that's kind of like 
a little bit of a bummer. Uh, I, I, I tend to like to roll dice and know instantly what happened, not roll dice and then have to like figure it out or like, you know, do something else. So we'll see how those kind of really actually go. Uh, the Ambrose Chess uh, rule book looks fantastic. It looks very pretty, very well done. The graphic artist is fantastic at all of this. This is all great stuff. I like it. I like all the d uh, smaller images in there, the call-out boxes, the cards, the big pieces of art that are always in there. It's, it looks super cool. There are 200 pages of perspectives, these philosophy books. Uh, my favorite one is Deadism. I'm all about Deadism. I think that's cool. Deadism sounds just like awesome. It's very Kingdom Death Monster to have the Deadism. Here's a kind of a, a picture of it, and it looks like it's a real picture. I can see some kind of fingerprints and stuff like that, so that's cool to see like a real kind of copy of it or they faked it which would have been kind of weird you see that kind of gloss on there and then it, it, it it's going to be big it looks like it actually says game Boy's chest on it which would be cool this is the miniature box so this is the original core box uh you know the one with all those like armor sets that you don't need to play the game yeah that one and this is the miniature assembly box with all the sprues for gambo's chest it's bigger it's like twice as tall by the looks of it, so it's huge. And not nearly as many, I think, useless, and I say that in in terms of just like, you know, like a boss is really needed, right? Uh, the starting survivors really need it. The armor set's not quite as much. And they're definitely there, but as you can see, it's actually a pretty good spread of minis, I would say. I think that looks great. Um, I think they all look super high quality. Uh, of course, I mean, I don't know what else you would expect. L look at that instrument, that looks, looks great. All this looks awesome. Can't wait to get it. You can see, by the way, and they covered this before the uh, the assembly. This is the gambler's ball, and then you slot in the like bits of people like all around it. It's going to look awesome, I'm sure. Uh, they're going over essentially their scope creep, the the amount that they're delivering versus what they promised. Um, and it's not that they under promised anything, and what they promised was a lot. So what they're delivering is an insane amount. It's why the core box is something you can pretty much just play. It's like huge. So this is the original game. This is the Game Brothers chess. So, and as you can see, it is quite a bit more. One great example of that is they promised 64 plus gear cards, and they're delivering 260 plus gear cards. I'm not going to go over the whole list here, but suffice it to say, that kind of shows a great uh, uh, example of the expansion that they've had. This is definitely a a massive massive campaign for those of you who paid for it on the Kickstarter you guys got a great price I got in pretty early so I still got a pretty a pretty good price compared to what it is now it's just been going up and up as they deliver more and more but it's it's insane okay so they talk about back and uh, being back on track I'm not gonna cover this uh, th there's there's some oddities in that that I'm not really too concerned about what I do like here is this as I'm as I'm very excited to begin the next season of Kingdom the Monster, the Redemption Arc, starting next year. I love that, the Redemption Arc. I would love nothing more than to see that happen. So hopefully that's the case. Um, they talk about the hard plastic showdown board. That's the really cool actual like sculpted board. That's going to be delivering quarter one, 2023, so very soon here. And now Frog Dog and Black Knight. Uh, pencils up is how they put it there, which a little tongue in cheek there. And if you didn't know, it's this one and this one. So they look super cool for sure. That'll be Q3 2023. Hopefully in time for Gen Con 2023, we plan on returning. I would love to visit them in Gen Con next year. So that is certainly on my to-do list. I think it'd be fantastic. Campaigns of Death got a big update here. So after that, Right, the next on their hit list, returning full development focus following the wrap up of the Fraud on Black Knight expansion. So this will be, at, so they're gonna wrap this up because they wanna get content out the door and I, I love that and appreciate that. Get some easy wins if you can. Campaigns of Death is gonna be huge. It's the next big one, right? As far as I can tell, it's it's gonna be, it's gonna be big. I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for it, I think it looks great. I actually haven't uh, bought it yet, I probably should. The whole Mountain Man, Inverted Mountain expansion, by the way, looks incredible they go into great great detail here the remastered version of them i really appreciate i like the new cape that he has going on there it's much more dynamic and interesting and his head i really really do like too it's in a different position that is a little bit more creepy and it, and i mean that in a good way i think it's great it looks it's a little slack but then he's got the really tense uh kind of smile gritted teeth thing there going on just looks great it looks awesome 
But they talk about starting survivors, which those look fantastic as well. They look really good. It talks about starting in the, the bog, the pond scum, right? And all the different armor sets you're going to get there and how you're going to uh, kind of go around the campaign and what you're going to be doing. Uh, going up the mountain, the, the base actually comes with it. Uh, they go into one event here, this fluid breach settlement event where it like floods out. And it looks super cool. I love how they do this. They actually have it to where like, the card is a flood line and stuff like that. This seems super neat to do that. These are amazing. The 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 visions here, the uh the visionaries, the remastered version here looks fantastic. Looks great. That is a great looking mini. One of my favorites. I love this mini. It looks great. Also, her her kind of stalwart uh stance there, super cool. Love the cape flowing back there. That looks awesome. So super cool there. You get kind of the the uh, the opposite version here with I forget their name, the apotheosis, whatever, whatever they are. <laughs> um, let's see. It's going to talk about uh, let's see climbing. So like climbing gear, you can get that. The uh, armor set at the very end, I think, is the coolest. Here's kind of the base. Uh, up high as it kind of gets higher and higher which looks super cool these guys look terrible these trapdoor men they like hide and like actually like grab you this gotcha so you put your miniature on there and bad things happen to you uh coffin torture yeah no, no thank you probably my least favorite armor set here it's cool i do like anything with a mask um that's why i liked like code vein the video game so much because they had like the, the mask that was super cool uh but it follows up with this uh and again i'm not gonna say this right the gry quito armor or whatever this is good looking stuff this is awesome awesome stuff look at this armor set Heck freaking yeah. The tail's a little weird, but otherwise super freaking cool. I dig that. Look at this one. Oh, man, look at those shoulder pads. Talk about in-game armor. <laughs> that looks great. This looks super duper cool. So they're actually putting four of them in here. So here's the other two. They got this guy here looking awesome. Love it. And then they have this lady here with one of the coolest masks. Just super cool stuff. Look at those. Guys, those look freaking awesome. So that's looking super cool. They're going to be doing all the Wanderers. Uh, so this will be the first one here. I, her name is kind of weird. It's like Animeus or something like that. Uh, but they can kind of come into your your uh, your uh, area and just kind of like change things up a little bit. I guess each one is a little bit unique. But they said they're going to have uh, quite a bit of stuff there. And uh, yeah, the, the uh, Possessed Twilight Knight. They did this for Soda Pop Miniatures like way back in the day. It looks super cool. Uh, so I uh, really, really do like that. In fact, my least favorite part of this, because everything I think looks great, is actually the die. <laughs> but I do like the small little miniatures on here, so that's cool too. So, I mean, overall, it's just a cool a cool little little uh, mini there. And I'm kind of sad that uh, um, it's, it's not something that I can get. This, by the way, fantastic. Whoever did this, great job on this. That is, that's fantastic stuff there. Really good stuff. But, but we're not done yet. They're talking about the simulator. Uh, that was available on Black Friday. Again, obviously I didn't get this in time out for you guys, but you guys could get the keys to it. The little, little keys, which is kind of fun. I, I dig that. It's looking great. Like it looks nice. It's come a long way. That's for sure. So that's cool. Um, I really dig that. Uh, a little uh, King Slayer Twilight Knight and the Kyu's, Kyu's Twilight Knight. So a lot of Twilight Knights. Um, yeah, uh, gross is what this is. Look at the different pairs of teeth, by the way. They have like three different kinds of teeth there. Really nasty stuff. A surprise secret reward that we get. So that's super cool there in the gambler's chest. And that's it, guys. What an update. A long time coming. Um, this doesn't negate the attitude that Poots has had over the course of the years, per se. It doesn't negate the amount of updates that they've done or lack thereof. It doesn't negate the delays or anything like that per se. However, it is great to finally kind of be here. I still struggle to believe in it. Um, I gave him money so long ago uh, that I feel like I won't believe it till I see it, but I do hope to see it soon. And so that's awesome. Of course, I'll have an unboxing once it arrives. Super excited for that uh, by a lot, that's for sure. But look at the difference in the comments and just how everybody's like, you know what? That looks pretty sweet. <laughs> that looks pretty sweet. 10 years ago. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Man, I mean, it, it's 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 just, it's really nice to see it finally, finally, after all this time, after all this time, arrive. That is super cool. What an update. My goodness. 
a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Let me know what you think about all this, of course, about uh, the gambler's chest, the delays, the production, especially you guys that follow Kingdom Monster a lot closer than I do. Um, I'm not as invested in it. I've only given them several hundred dollars, not several thousand, so I'm a little bit uh, easier in than you guys, per se, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on all of this. Um, around poots, around uh, the kind of the, the delays, the deliveries, what's coming up, the game in general. Uh, let me know. Let me know. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I had. So uh, yeah, we'll start with some unboxings here very soon. I got some new Kickstarter games to show you. So excited about that. Oh, I have a miniature painting here coming up and the announcement of the yearly fundraiser. Guys, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. Take care. Bye, guys. <laughs>